Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a modern apartment building. And I just want to give you a little preview of the building. At the base of the building, we have a lobby slash security area. We even have a mail area in which each one of the residents can collect their mail. If we come all the way up this staircase right here, you have access to each one of the many floors, which you will find identical, by the way. And we of course have access to each one of the five apartments themselves, which are quite big. There's enough room for a kitchen inside of them, a large lounging area, and we of course even have access to bedrooms for each one of the five apartments. There's even a communal area on the roof, a storage area in the lobby, and there's even a tiny little place to chill down outside of the building too. If you want to make this, I'd really hope that you guys could hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. And if you have enjoyed the video enough to click on it, if you just like the look of it, please share it with a friend as that really helps me out and it helps spread the word to my channel. But without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these are the materials that we will require to make the modern apartment building. We will be using more materials than this to decorate the building. However, this video will only show you how to make the apartment building itself, and I will also show you how to lay out the building into the separate rooms, how to make the corridors, and the stairs. I'll show you how to make all the important stuff and the decoration I will leave up to you. However, I will preview my original at the end of this video to give you some inspiration. Please make sure that you have all of these items right here. And once you do have every single one of them, starting with the ones in the hot bar, we can begin. Now, once you have your stuff, I can tell you that the building will only require a 23 block by a 21 block area to make. If you're building this in a city, I would recommend making a grid on the floor just so you know where it's going to lay exactly. And if you do make this grid, begin on the front left hand corner of it, count inwards by one, two, three, and this is where we're going to start. Begin by placing a white concrete on the ground and go right of it by two. One, two. Place two rows of white concrete behind this. One row, two rows, like this. I then want you to take the back right hand corner row, which is of course this one, and I want you to place five oak planks going right. One, two, three, four, five. Then, I want you to place five grey concrete going right. One, two, three, four, five. Then, place five oak wood planks going right. One, two, three, four, five. Place yourself an oak door, followed by an additional three oak planks. So that's one, two, three just like that. So that's kind of the floor plan for the moment. I then want you to take the last oak wood plank and I want you to move backwards from it by 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I then want you to go left of that 14th block by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place five grey concrete going left. One, two, three, four, five. And then six more oak planks going left. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I want you to connect that sixth plank all the way to the start of the build. And you should end up with a shape that should look exactly like this. And that's not too complicated, is it? That's, that's quite an easy shape to start off with. It doesn't get too much harder than this. I then want you to do two things. I want you to take the row of five grey concrete that we have at the start of the video, and I want you to extend it 
two rows to what three rows towards you coming out in front of the apartment building that's three rows one two three like that and I want you to take the back row of grey concrete and I want you to extend it out of the back of the build by one row like this we now want to make the entrance a little bit so the entrance is obviously where we have placed the door I want you to place oak planks left and right of the door then I want you to place next to the oak planks left and right of the door on the floor I want you to place white concrete block like this extend the white concrete up by two one two one two connect it together so essentially we're making a little doorway I then want you to take the row of three oak planks on the left of the door and I want you to place two glass pane on top of the middle one two like that and then I want you to place an oak plank on top of that just like this I then want you to take all of the remaining oak wood planks and raise them up each by three rows and I mean all of them one two three one two three we even want to raise above the door as well as we want all of the apartment building to be the same height you can even fill in behind the door because that makes more sense but we want to raise up the entire oak wood part of the frame equally so all of it wants to be as high as each other and that in layman's terms means that we want to place three rows of oak wood planks on top of all of the pre-existing oak wood planks to make a nice frame and this is going to be the bottom of the apartment complex this is where people are going to walk in this is where I have my storage area as well we're actually building some of the exterior walls for the storage area as we speak and this is where you know you're gonna walk in you collect your mail if you've got a problem you talk to security you guys get the idea that's what this part of the building is and that's what it wants to look like so far but not only do you want to raise up the oak wood planks but we want to raise up the gray concrete and the white concrete too equally by three rows so that look like one two and three all the way over so everywhere that you have the gray concrete the white concrete it all wants to be as high as each other and in doing this we will have pretty much made the first floor once all of this has been done if you don't like the use of concrete you're more than welcome to swap out for terracotta or perhaps if we're speaking about the white blocks maybe you want to just use some more quartz but I'd highly recommend the grey concrete and the white concrete because I do like the texture of it just a little bit more than the other blocks so that's what we want to have so far right that is what the base of this thing looks like well what are we going to do next you might be wondering to yourselves well I am going to show you from this point onwards how you make a floor now I'm, I'm gonna look at you because this is important right this next part is how you make an individual floor for your apartment building this process is repeatable meaning you can do this over and over and over again until you have your required amount of floors so this is very important to make sure that you can get this bit down because it is going to this part is going to hinge or your entire apartment building is going to hinge on the fact that you can repeat this next part let's do it okay so the next part of this is that we want to raise up all of the oak wood planks now by five rows so one two three four five and we want to do this all the way around the apartment building each and every floor starts off by us raising the oak wood planks up 
by five rows. So that's one, two, three, four, five, absolutely everywhere. And we're not just going to be raising up the oak wood planks either. We will also be raising up the white concrete and the grey concrete too. But I think that the oak wood planks are a good place to start as they take up the majority of the outside. And the reason that this point is so, so important is because I am not going to individually make every single floor with you. I'm showing you how to make one floor and then if you want to make another floor you are going to have to repeat the process over and over again for yourself until you have the desired amount of floors. Because you might want an apartment building that is perhaps 8 floors high, or 20, or 99. You probably can't get 99 because of the sky limit, but you guys get the idea. So this is why this point, this part is so important to be able to do for yourself. So you begin by raising up all of the oakwood plank blocks by 5. And then you raise up all of the grey concrete by five. So this is as high as the oak wood planks blocks. You don't really have to count for this whatsoever. So in raising this up by five, that should pretty much tell you that that is how high a floor is. And once all of these have been raised up, all of the grey concrete, all of the white concrete, we can work on the parts of the apartment building that are going to show us, like, we're going to work on the parts of the apartment building that are individual to the floors, meaning windows, balconies, that sort of stuff. So we will be adding detail to what we have just been making. And don't forget the grey concrete on the back of the build either. That also has to be raised up and expanded outwards as well. We're making a blank canvas that we can carve into because it's honestly easier this way. So, we want to have something which should look like this. And that is perfect. Now, once you have done that, we can begin on the individual work of the floors. So. It's important to remember where we left off from. You can count back from the top if you like. We placed five rows, right? So that'd be row number five, four, three, two, one. This was the first row. If you begin on the right section of this, I want you to place a row of white concrete in front of the first row of oak wood planks that we placed, like this. This is where the balcony is going to be. I then want you to place another row of white concrete in front of the first row of oak wood planks that you made, and then extend that row of white concrete outwards by two. One, two, out to the right. Then extend that row backwards by five, coming towards the back of the build. One, two, three, four, five, like this. So you can see we're just making the balcony, the walking space. Place quartz slabs all the way around the top of your balcony. On top of the quartz slabs, we're going to be placing some white stained glass paint. So I'd suggest grabbing that and we can place it going all the way around. Blue glass might be a better fit for you. It's up to you which you want to use. So now you can see that we have a balcony. In the position that we have the balcony on the right, we also want to have a mini balcony on the left. This one's easier to make, as it's just a singular row of white concrete with a row of quartz slab in front. And you can see that that balcony is in line with where the balcony that we placed, the larger balcony to the right of us. Equally so, it wants to have white stained glass pane on top of the quartz slabs. The entrance is located here. We're going to knock out these two oak wood plank blocks here on the right, coming one row inwards. These two oak wood planks here on the left, coming one row inwards. We're going to knock one block above them, fill the left one in with glass pane, and the right one we're just adding a quartz slab instead. So you can see we have the entrance and the window leading out onto the mini balcony. This comes from the, the actual bedroom inside of the apartment. 
If we come to the right hand side we have a little bit more to do here but it's a similar sort of principle. Coming in from both the left and the right we want to knock out two blocks leaving a gap of one like this is the straight front part of the apartment building. We want to knock one block upwards in each of the rows and place glass pane inside of the empty spaces like this. We then want to knock out the three middle rows in between them and we want to knock out three rows of the three middle rows like this if that makes sense what I just said I'm sure it does and then fill the top of it in using quartz slams place glass block behind that and extend the left block down by two quartz or white concrete one two and the right one two so all in all we will have something which should look like this now that ladies and gentlemen is a floor that is a repeatable pattern that we will be using throughout this tutorial what i would also recommend to stop it getting tedious where the floor is i would recommend filling in inside of the apartment building i would recommend adding in an interior floor so just leading out from the balcony extend the balcony white concrete inwards and completely fill in a level of the floor and that will basically just show you where the actual interior floor, floor is for the apartment building and if you do that on every single level you're not going to have to do it all in one go and uh, trust me it gets tedious oh does it get tedious so it's much better in my opinion to do it kind of like in in sets so like you do a floor meaning like you do a level to the apartment building and then you add the inside floor every single time so we will end up with something that should look exactly once we've finished it exactly like this so now you can see we've got the whole floor worked out we have the outside done and now ladies and gentlemen we are going to repeat this for as many floors as we like i myself am going to create three more no probably four more floors honestly four more floors exactly like this one now i'm hoping that you guys will be able to repeat yourselves but if you can't please just skip back in the video i might even timestamp it for you where you want to skip back to and you can just repeat that part of the tutorial if you have trouble with this next part but you can add as many floors as you like for instance you might only want to add so this is what your apartment building would look like with just an additional floor that's one more floor this is what the apartment building looks like with two additional floors this is what the apartment building looks like with three additional floors and this is what my apartment building looks like with four additional floors this in total gives me five apartments and this is where i personally am going to stop i only want five apartments in my apartment building but you might want 10 or 20 or 30 or whatever the insane number might be so please i want you to pause this video i want you to make all of the floors that you desire as many as you absolutely like and then i want you to hit that play once you have made all the floors once you are satisfied like i am and then we can put the roof on and add all of the other outer aesthetic stuff so please pause if necessary once you have finished hit play okay next thing we're going to do is we are going to add the roof this starts off by us taking the rows of gray concrete that we have at the middle front of the building and raising up this gray concrete block by a further three rows that's like one two three and we want to raise up the entire block by three rows all of it like this as you can see me doing now so it is a little bit higher than the last apartment we then want to take this white concrete area to the left of this and we want to raise it up 
by an additional row like this. I want you to take all of the oak planks on the left side of the building, meaning all of the oak planks left of this grey concrete, I want you to raise them up by two rows. So that will be one, two, like this. And we want to do that to all of the oak planks on this particular row right here. So, whoops, accidentally destroyed a white concrete there. And we also want to do it round the back as well to give us this. We also want to raise up the grey concrete on the back, might fail to mention that, on the back by three rows as well. So that would be one, two, three. And we just want to add all of those rows together, like this. And then we want to speak about the right side of the apartment building. We want to grab our white concrete, and we want to add two rows of white concrete on top of the oak planks on the right side of the building. So an entire two rows of white concrete added on top of the oak plank rows, like this. So that's one, and then this will be two rows of white concrete, like that. I want you to place quartz slabs in front of the bottom of the two rows of white concrete. These quartz slabs are going to go all the way around the base, and they will join in very logical places around the build, so that's around the bottom. We also want to do the top, so we want to go all the way around the tops and the bottom, and in doing this we are going to form the roof, because you see, once you have done that, from the outside that all looks pretty good, that's, that's the roof put on from the outside, but if you come to the top, it's a bit of a mess. So, the roof floor, for me, is going to begin where we have this row of white concrete, the first row. Because I don't want us to be able to just straight up walk right off the roof, I'm not looking for that. So I want us to just, this, this is my roof by the way, you can change yours in any way you want. I'm going to create a white concrete area on the right side of the apartment building that is just going to sit, the roof area is going to just sit inside of this like rectangle of white concrete space that we have. So I just, I just want to do it and then show you. Can you kind of see how that goes together? Like, the, just this entire right side, you've got one row above you, so you can't just straight up fall off. And that is the roof section. And then the two areas on the left of us, we're just going to fill in. Uh, the grey concrete, we can just connect front to back, meaning we can just connect the big chunk of grey concrete on the front of the build all the way to the back of the build, just to extend it back and forth. And we can do a similar thing with the oak planks as well. So once you get to the oak plank point, you don't have to connect all of the grey concrete together because uh, this is, of course, like a room, so you don't want to connect like front to back. Um, and as a matter of fact, because it's the penthouse, and do remember to, you fill in this uh, left side portion with oak planks, it is the penthouse. The penthouse is basically the top floor of the apartment building or a hotel even. Hotels have penthouses. So, and these are typically bigger. So that's something to take into consideration. And uh, what else are we going to do? Oh, you're also going to have to add an oak plank in that position right there where we have this like white concrete square. And from the outside you'll have, I mean that's a pretty nice apartment looking building. Apartment looking building. And that is the top, so you can see that all fits together very very nicely. So there's a couple of things that we have to do to the outside as well. If we come to the back right hand corner of the apartment building, I want to make it look a bit more interesting on this corner, and it, it's quite easy to do, it doesn't, it doesn't take much effort, I promise. I want you to come all the way up to the top, and I want you to place a white concrete underneath the corner quartz slab here that overhangs the build. I then want you to extend this white concrete block forwards by two, like towards the front of the build, one, two, and across the back by two, one, two, like that and extend those second blocks down until they eventually hit the ground. And you'll also want to connect them together as well, but if you extend them down to the ground, you'll be able to see how to connect them together. You just wrap it around the corner, uh, just like that. 
you can see what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about there. And you can either leave the corner of the building like that, or you can knock out the oak wood planks. Uh, as I'm doing now, you can just knock out the oak wood planks in between the two rows like that. And that adds, I don't know, it's kind of like cool, you know? It, uh, it's kind of interesting to look at. So it just makes your apartment building look a little bit nicer. You could even do the same to this corner here, but you know, you don't have to add like an incredible level of detail absolutely everywhere. And that is the physical building complete at that point. Uh, if you would like to add some things like pathways and stuff, then I'd recommend a nice uh, stone brick pathway coming out the front of your building, just like I've got going on here. Maybe like a nice little brick pathway like this, leading out to the street or whatever. I'd also recommend separating areas that you can plant flowers, flower beds, that sort of stuff. Like if you take the left side of the entrance, extend it parallel with the path, and then place some quartz slab leading to the left and connecting to the left side of the grey concrete. Then you have a natural flower bed. We can even create a little bit of quartz slabbage here leading from the front left corner of the apartment complex. And if you just leave these blocks alone, you can place a little bit of flowerage in there too. And this middle section, on my original, I, I have like a kind of like a seating area, which I kind of like the sound of and the look of. I don't know what I mean by the sound of, but you guys get the point. I like the idea of having a nice little uh, like relaxing section just here, have a couple of tables and chairs and stuff. Uh, I, I like the idea also of quartz slabbing, like the right of the side of the entrance, extending it right, and then connecting it backwards. Now, you could make this area larger if you chose to, and that would accommodate like a larger flower bed, but it really depends what sort of space you're working with within your city. That's a great factor to this. And uh, now, that's the outside. Like, fill that up with flowers if you like, some bushes, seating area, whatever. So that is that part complete, right, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to show you next, now that we've done the outside, and this is the building complete, uh, I want to show you the inside. So if we walk inside, I'm just popping a potion night vision for the fun of it. So we're on the inside now. And I want us to separate this. So I, I want to show you how the downstairs area gets separated. How you do all the rooms. I'll show you what I mean. So on the downstairs area, we are going to create a wall just right of this window, the only window that we have at the entrance, I'm going to create a solid wall using oak planks, but you can use whatever material you want. This is going to separate the lobby area from what I have as a storage area, but that could easily be a pool, another apartment, it could be like, it could be so many different things. So that leaves you with this area right here, okay? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a walkway. So a walkway meaning stairs. In the bottom right corner of your apartment building, I'm going to place a block of quartz in the corner with a quartz stairs in front of it. And then I'm going to have quartz stairs leading up to the next floor like this. And we will eventually have to break into the floor. So like, like this. And the stairs will actually come up like that the stairs will come up and break into the floor so you can see that that's kind of like the floor system and i'm going to cover up this area using some gray concrete so i'm going to use gray concrete to just cover up these stairs here because i don't want them exposed i want this to look nice and classy like that i mean we could even extrapolate on this like you could add some gray concrete around this kind of like this right and then you have the postage area that I created um, that you might have seen at the start of the video. And you could even like knock this out and you could replace this using a different material. But it's, it's kind of up to you how you want to put this thing together. Like, But that's the stairs. Like The stairs are planned to be in the corner. They lead you up to the second floor. Now, where are the rest of the stairs going to go. So we've got to create a divide between this set of stairs here and where the next set of stairs are going to go. So I'm going to place a row of gray concrete blocks that kind of like divide the stairs up here and allow us to turn this corner. And I'm going to have a set of stairs coming up here. But 
I believe that the stairs won't actually reach. Yeah, no, the problem is, when you get onto this next floor, you want to add another row of grey concrete onto the wall. So, like, you walk up and then you've got the grey concrete wall to the left of you, you've added another row, and then you begin the quartz stairs immediately like this, and then that will take you up to the next floor, because otherwise, you won't have a block to step on, and when you get up to the second floor, you'd be stepping directly onto a stairs. And we want to cover that area up as well, so we're going to cover this area up using some grey concrete, just like this. So we just want to cover the stairs. And that pattern repeats itself, like we come up here, and then we could, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm going to cover up the stairs. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're just going to cover up the stairs left and right of us, right? Because we don't want the stairs exposed. That's a, that's a big deal. We don't want to just randomly fall on the stairs. This is a modern apartment building. We don't want to just randomly fall up the stairs like this. So now we can walk around this corner, and then the next set of stairs will be here, you know, so on and so forth. Like, I don't want to spend the entirety of the last part of the tutorial just creating stairs, but you guys get the idea how it works, right? The stairs are all confined to the corner. You climb them and climb them, you just go round and round and round. That's exactly how it works. Starting at the bottom here, working our way up. Well, the first floor, we want to create the boundary for the actual... Uh, we want to create, in, when I say boundary, we want to create where the actual apartment is. So, I want to leave some room next to the stairs. I'm, I'm going to leave about uh, two rows. I'm going to leave two rows next to the stairs. You, but you could just leave one. Maybe two rows next to the stairs. I'm going to leave this. And I also want to have about one, two, three, four... About, uh, maybe like leave about four or so rows away from the stairs. So like th this is this is the area that we can walk around the stairs and up the side of the stairs and stuff. And we're just creating the walls for the apartments. You can make these smaller, you can make these bigger. But this is a pretty decent sized apartment that we're making now. And I just want to show you how I arrived at the decision to make my apartments the sizes that they are and how, how I devised the, the layout. And then if we knock into the hallway, I want the door to be directly like facing the stairs, like the next set, which is, you know, it's more or less in the middle of the wall. You can build a little frame around it if you want to, if you want to make it nice and fancy like this. And that's how each apartment's going to be laid out. So now when you walk in, you can kind of see how it's all uh, set up and how it's all devised. So like now we have a nice big open living space. And uh, I, I only have one room in my particular apartment. And I just want to make sure that I've got enough space to walk around the room. It's, it's the bedroom. And uh, all I need is about two rows to walk around it. So, to put this into perspective, like, my bedroom is just hidden in here in the corner. And I just need about maybe one or two rows to walk around it, just so that you can, like, access uh, the living room and stuff. So... I mean, that's, that's actually probably a bit too small. I, I was probably right with the first. There we go. And then that, that's kind of like how I devi devised my set of rooms. That's, that's, like how, that's where I have my bedrooms in the corner leading onto the small balconies. Just make sure that you've got enough room to walk around them. And you've pretty much, after, after you've managed to do this, like after you've divided all of your apartments up into, uh, into equal, living spaces like this is where the kitchen would be like here you might want to cover up this gray concrete with something you know on the interior you might want to add like a little bit of a feature here maybe you want to add kind of like a sort of like fireplace looking thing you know what i mean just you know make it like nice and uh, and good looking inside the apartments but you guys get the idea like this is how you set them out this is how you divide them up and this is what you should expect around the side of the apartments. Now, I covered in this area next to the stairs, uh, just here, like I covered that in. And the reason that I made them this size, by the way, why I have two rows to the right of them, is if we come up to the next story and we walk, you, if we have two rows next to the stairs, absolutely 
on every single one of the levels, then we're not going to get, uh, then, then we'll be able to actually like walk around and navigate around all of the apartments, if that makes sense. So I, I think that at this point I've shown you how to make all of the floors, I've shown you how to lay out the apartments themselves, I think I've shown you how to lay out the lower level of the apartment building, and this is where I have a storage room on my particular apartment building, I have a storage room right here, um, the roof itself, um, you know, the, the roof is to be treated just like every single other floor, like you'd obviously, you'd just have like a, you'd have like a set of stairs leading down, leading up from the last apartment, um, you'd just have a set of stairs as you would, taking you to any other level, and that would take you up to the roof. And, uh, I know that that was kind of long-winded, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologise for going through all of that. But I wanted, I want to make sure that you guys know how to set the building out properly. I want to make sure that you guys know how to actually lay out all of the floors and how to make it look like the original. But that is the tutorial for this pretty much done, guys. But what I do want to do before I, I say the outro, I want to show you the original and I want to show you the apartments in detail and the lobby in detail and stuff so that you've got an idea of how to decorate them. So let's swap over. So now we're back at the original. I just want to show you how I have things decorated just to give you a bit of inspiration so to begin with the outside of the building we have a lot of flowers we have a little bit of a seating area there's really not too much to show out here so i'd suggest something like this a variety of flowers and a little seating area where we have the little courtyard out from the lobby area i think of as kind of like a mail collection and a security area so we have a desk we have a painting we have kind of like a little computer we have some uh, post boxes and stuff in the form of shulker boxes and it's just nice and decorated as you would hope to expect an actual lobby would be the storage room is a little bit different I've basically just got a long hallway and inside of it after creating a divide for the hallway I, I basically just have a lot of shulker boxes and a load of chests where people would store their extra stuff you know as you would in kind of like a cellar or a storage area in some apartment buildings pretty much that's that's all that is nothing really too special you could easily add like a mini gym or a pool or something some apartment complexes have those so you might want to add that maybe like a little pool area the individual floors are a bit different so i have the outside of the apartments decorated with a ceiling light. We also have a rug outside, also known as a welcome mat. We have a potter plant in the corner with a light next to the door. And we have a mechanical door rather than a wooden one. And inside here, we have a kitchen. That is the first thing that I want to see as I walk in. Um, you can see that I have the room divided very similarly as to how I just showed you how to do paintings on the wall. We have torches everywhere as well, potted plants all over the place. Um, the actual lounge area itself, you know, we've got like a kind of like a TV going on. It's got speakers. We've got a little bit of a sofa as well, or a uh, what do you, or a couch. Um, we have uh, a shelf put up. We have some lamps. We have kind of like a reading area as well, leading out onto the balcony. Um, inside the bedroom, I actually really like the bedroom because it's so simple. Double bed. We have a bit of carpet laid down, a lamp, and a painting, and that's all that's out here. Out on the mini balcony, we have a seat with a flip-down, flip-up table. That's just supposed to be a relaxing area. Um, on the larger balconies, they're all the same. We have two plants outside the door, left and right of it. And we have a small lounging area just hanging off of the apartment complex to the right. And that is how I would decorate every single one of the actual rooms themselves. And once you eventually get up to the roof, all I have up here is I have a bit of seating, as you can see. And I kind of just have like some furnaces and some chests, kind of like a, a little mini barbecue area. You could easily add plants and fun stuff like that, but I want to keep it nice and simple. And uh, that's the roof. That's, that's how I decorated that. 
So I hope that in this video I have shown you everything you need to be able to create your very own modern apartment building, including rooms, the lobby, the roof, everything. I hope that I've shown you how to make it all, how to lay it out and how to decorate it. I hope that you decorate it yourself, but I would absolutely not blame you for taking a little bit of inspiration. I'm actually quite proud of that room that I made. I really like how the colors go together and stuff. But if you have enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as I'd really appreciate that. It helps me in the channel out so, so much. If you have enjoyed the content enough to make it this far, please share it with a friend. I'd really appreciate it. Sharing is caring. If you'd like to make any more of my city builds, I'll be leaving links in the card system in the description below. Amongst any, I, amongst other stuff, you know, I, I make survival builds. I'm trying to focus on modern houses, on suburban houses, that sort of stuff. I'm trying to focus on more house oriented builds and stuff that you can use in your survival worlds and in, in your actual like cities and stuff. That's what I'm trying to work on, on this channel at least. If you want more fun stuff like, you know, Blue the Raptor, then you're going to have to subscribe to my second channel. Speaking of which, if you do want to keep up to date with the channel, please subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That is the best thing that you can do to keep up to date with all of my builds. If you click the little bell, that does make sure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Check out the cards, check out the description below if you do want to make more stuff by me. I will be leaving very, very, very relevant videos and playlists in there, so I'm not going to be wasting your time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!